Hello, this is Christine with Cricut's Creative Corner and I wanted to do a real quick video of the card I made yesterday. I was so excited to share with y'all. I decided to go ahead and make a video of uh, how to make it. And this is actually a card that I made for my swap uh, that I'm participating in for the month of February. So what we're gonna be doing is we're using the Crushed Curry ink pad, Soft Sky, Blushing Bride, we're going to use our bone folder and our stamping buddy. I'll show you how that works in a minute. And this is the stamp set that we're going to be using in Happy Celebrations. We're going to use Celebrate and this little blob right here and New Baby, the Sentiment New Baby. So we're going to use that. And here's the, the um, stamps right quick. I already got them ready to go. We're going to be using our Versamark ink pad and our silver embossing powder. Um, so we'll put that to the side. Of course, our dimensionals as always. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started and go ahead and cut these as I go. And hopefully I'll do them right. So let's see what we can come up with. So this is actually an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock. It's called Soft Sky. Um, and what I'm going to do is just I'm going to cut it in half. And you'll be able to actually make two cards out of this. This is a card base. So we're going to measure this at 5.5. And then you'll actually have two card bases. So we're gonna put one to the side. Okay, and while we're, we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and score this at four and a quarter. Okay, so that's done. We'll put that to the side. And then your um, next layer is going to be, this is Soft Sky again. It's going to be five and a quarter by four. Okay. And then the top layer is going to be five. This is Whisper White cardstock by three and three quarters. Okay. There we go. That's all the cutting we're going to do. So I'm going to put this away. We're going to start with this right here. So uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and get our ink, inks out. First one I'm going to use is the Blushing Bride. And we're using the blob that I just mentioned earlier. Got it ready to go. Go ahead and ink it up. And we're going to put it in the middle right here on the bottom. So right there. Okay. Put this away. Don't need that anymore. And a good way to keep your stamps clean is using the stamp and scrub. So what is this is a um, a cleaner for your stamps. So this is called stamp and miss. A couple of squirts. And just rub your stamp on there to clean it and condition and then it dries us off and it's clean. So we're gonna use that again in a minute. Uh, the next color is the blue, the uh, Soft Sky. Same stamp. Turn it upside down the other direction that I had. Stamp it there. Okay, go ahead and put this away. And again, Get your stamp and scrub, clean and condition your stamp and dry it. And then the crushed curry. Ink it up. And because this one's a little darker, I'll go ahead and stamp off first. And then I'm gonna turn this around. Let's see, we're gonna do it upside down and put it right above the blue. There we go. All right, don't need that anymore. And we're gonna use our stamp and scrub, clean that off, dry, good to go. And so the next part we're gonna do is, let me get this off real quick. I'm gonna fold this in half. And get this ready to emboss. So here's the card that I just stamped on. And what we're gonna use is our embossing buddy. 
It's a cute little um, little pouch, has a little bit of powder in it. You're gonna rub it all over your card, just like that. And what it does is it keeps the static down whenever you're embossing your card. So we're gonna get our colors, our stamps that we need, our Versamark and our embossing powder. Go ahead and get your, um, <clears throat> your um, embossing uh, ink pad out. Go ahead and stamp your stamp on there to get it all on there real good. And we're gonna stamp it right in the middle of the blue. So right there. And then we're also gonna take the sentiment. It says new baby. This is my favorite part. And stamp it on the bottom right corner. Then you're gonna take your embossing powder and you're gonna sprinkle it over the top pretty generously and knock it off. And there's your embossing right there. Okay, so now we're gonna clean this up. I'm gonna put this to the side. Whoops. We're gonna take this this in the middle and put this back in the container it came in. Okay, and here we go. Put this back, we won't need this anymore. And then this is my favorite part. Let me find my card here. Carefully put it right here. You don't wanna touch any of that because it will come off really easily. So now we're gonna take our Stampin' Up! dryer heat gun and I'm gonna hold it over there and it's gonna start melting. Let me get this so close up so you can see real good. It'll start melting the um, embossing powder and it'll look like store-bought. It's really pretty. So let me go ahead and get that started. And it takes a minute for it to heat up and start melting the embossing powder. Hopefully you can see it change. It's so cool. And I hold it on there just a little bit longer than normal to let it really get melted on there so it'll be more solid instead of the orange peel look. So I want it to be a nice solid embossing look to it. It's my favorite part, I love it. And don't forget the bottom one. New baby, hopefully you can see that. It is so cool, so cool. So, hopefully you can hear me while I was doing that. But here you go, you can tell a big difference. It's so way cool, I love it. Fun, fun, fun. And then after a minute, you can go ahead and touch it. And it looks like a store-bought card almost, but it's not, it's homemade. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start putting this card together. Simple, simple card. Let me get my, um, base, my card base that I've scored at four and a quarter. Nope, let me go ahead and back it up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> get it right there and get your bone folder and make a nice soft edge there. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to use our dimensionals. We're going to really pop this thing up. So I'm going to use like five dimensionals. One on each corner and then one in the middle to keep it from sagging. You might be able to put more than one in the middle if you want. I don't know. Uh, I just use one. Let me pull these off. This is the cutest card. I love it. I love the embossing. The embossing is fun. Okay. So you're going to take this and we're going to put it on your card base. So we're going to line it up right in the middle. I do my best since I'm not directly above it. That looks pretty good. And then you're gonna take your top ba um, layer, do the same thing, four, uh, one in each corner. Cute, cute. And one in the middle, okay? Go ahead and take these off. Oops. And this right in the middle of the layer right there and 
Voila, there you go. There's the cute little card. Now I'm not quite done. So what I decided to do to kind of bling it out a little bit is get a stone. Let me find my, I could do this better with scissors. <laughs> Oops, don't do that. Um, get you a, a rhinestone. There we go. Get it under there and I put it right here. And the other one, let's see, it's the little bitty ones. Hang on a second. Let me get them off of here. Okay, right here. <laughs> go ahead and get one of these and put it, oops, there's one fell off. Right there on the bottom right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these away. There is the cutest card I have made in a while. I love the embossing. It makes it look so cool, especially the silver color. So there we go. There's your card. I just wanted to share that with you real quick because I thought it was the cutest card. So anyway, y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.